Loving Father of mercy and compassion, have mercy upon us and give us wisdom to understand your will and what we ought to do in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to welcome you all in a very special way to the Herald Report Ministry. My name is Kuzai Chikogora, your host, and today we are truly privileged that we can come together to look at what is happening in the world. And today we are focusing in on what is happening in the United Kingdom where there is rationing of fruit and vegetables and also there is a disruption, disruption in the supply chain. What exactly is happening, my brothers and sisters? There is a food crisis. There is a challenge of vegetables. And this is blamed on climate and an energy cost. And food is now being rationed in the supermarkets of England. In the morning it was Asda and Morrison's, but now Tesco has started doing the same. And I want to say to you, my brothers and sisters, the worst is yet to come. Now, how does the situation look like tonight, as of tonight, or as for yesterday? These are the pictures that you see on Twitter. This is Morrison's and Asda introducing uh, more, yeah, one is on the side, more is on the other side, as the, on the other side, you can see there is a problem of fruits and vegetables. Uh, there is no fruits and vegetables. You can see the shelves are empty, the trays are empty, things are not very easy. And this is actually Tesco, the big supermarket, as you can see. This is Tesco in Devon. There is no fruits and vegetables. And the question is, how is this happening now is the whole europe affected or is the whole world affected no look at this one now this is a twitter which was sent by brian katz he says seeing lots of photos of empty fruit and vegetables shelves in uk supermarkets which claims that it's the same all over europe blaming everything except brexit so this morning selection in local market shop and supermarket here in catalon Catalonia. So in other words, uh, it's not everywhere in the world where there's a serious supply chain problems. In fact, you find that, you know, the commodity, which is a real problem in England, are tomatoes. And I can see loads and loads and loads of tomatoes over there in Catalonia. So they've got plenty of food. But now what is causing the problem in England? This is the most important thing to diagnose the problem when you know the problem then you know how to resolve it and look at what uh, the telegraph says this was uh, this uh, this was on the 21st the telegraph was saying fresh fruit and vegetables fresh fruit and vegetables are being rationed at two of Britain's biggest supermarkets after poor foreign harvest in the domestic farming crisis led to shortages expected to last for two weeks. So they are saying there is a problem of poor harvest in foreign countries uh, which have been supplying the United Kingdom. So therefore now we have got uh, this domestic crisis, in fact this food crisis, fruit and vegetable crisis. Okay, so what are the fruits which, are, which, which have been affected? Look at what it says. Asda has limited, this was actually from uh, LBC, Asda has limited the purchase of tomatoes, peppers, cucumbers, lettuce, salad, bags, broccoli, cauliflower, and raspberries to three of each item per person. And as the spokesperson said, like other supermarkets, we are experiencing sourcing challenges on some products that are grown in southern Spain and North Africa. So there's uh, been a problem in North uh, Africa, Morocco uh, precisely. There's also a problem in Southern Spain. And for that reason, we are having some serious problems there. That's why we are not able to feed you. Do you know something very interesting, my brothers and sisters? Uh, that we are missing broccoli, cauliflower, raspberries, lettuce, cucumbers, peppers, tomatoes. These are the things that you can produce for yourself. When you have got a small garden or a small allotment, you can produce all these things for yourself. You don't necessarily have to go to the shops to buy these things. These things are things that if God gives you chance and opportunity, you definitely can produce them for yourself. Now look at what it says. We have introduced a temporary limit of three of each product on a very small number of fruit and vegetable line as customers can pick up the products they are looking for. Meanwhile from today Morrison has introduced a limit 
of two items per customer on tomatoes, cucumbers, lettuce, peppers, all, all these things I, have, I grow them in my garden. Tomatoes, cucumber, lettuce and peppers and uh, we eat without reservations really. It's only temperance that stops us from eating a lot of them. It says shelves have been left bare in supermarkets across the country due to supply shortages caused by staggering energy prices. Now we have been introduced to another culprit, energy prices. So the energy prices have been have affected food crisis. Last year almost uh, about uh, in uh, the month of May, May we looked at the food crisis in the world and they were attributing it to because by the Ukraine, Russia Ukraine war and today you find that you know they are saying this is actually affected us as well. But now what really is the main issue in England in particular? Look at what it says. One grocery expert has warned that the disruption is expected to last a few weeks. Uh, supply shortages have also been caused due to extreme weather cautions, including flooding and cold temperatures. So there's been frost in southern Spain there in North Africa. So this has uh, affected uh, the supply chain. But how come in Catalonia they've got a lot of it? Now, there is a problem in England, and the problem is actually very interesting. Look at what uh, Andrew Opi, the Director of Food and Sustainability at the British Retail Con Consortium, said. He said, difficult weather condition in the south of Europe and North Africa has disrupted harvest for some fruit and vegetables. Okay, that's fine, we have heard them, but they actually say something different. Look at the telegraph, it was saying, Meanwhile, farmers in the UK said the higher energy price mean domestic producers have not sown enough to fill the gap. Now, why are they not producing? What exactly is the problem? Now, they are saying the problem is the energy cost, so they had to switch off their, uh, their, their greenhouses. They cannot heat them because they cannot afford the cost. Why? Because the price is being charged at the retail or the pricing, price is being charged in the shop is too small and the farmers are not getting the reward. So what have they decided to do? They have decided not to produce. So what exactly does that mean? When they begin to produce, the prices will go up. Therefore, it will become very hard. Fruits and vegetables, the prices increase. Gas and electricity, the prices have increased. Everything price is just going up. What of the salary? The salaries have remained low. But now look at uh, the next paragraph. It says uh, Jack Ward, head of the British Growers Association, said the rationing was predictable. After months of squeezing supplies, whose payments of produce have not gone up as much as their cost. Yes, he said, if retailers weren't prepared to say to weren't prepared to say to growers, we will support you, we will give you the price that you need. Then the crops didn't go in the ground. So in other words, uh, there is no balance. The cost of producing is much higher than the price which the farmer is receiving. Therefore, they've decided not to produce. Therefore, because the consumers need food, we are forced to go an extra mile to buy this expensive food. Therefore, it says there is just the, this... He says there is just this determination to sell vegetables at low and lower cost without really worrying about the long-term sustainability. And this is finally coming home to rust. Why? Because the production cost is too high. The consumers, are, they don't want to pay more. But the question is, do they have the money to pay? The answer is no. They have been squeezed greatly. So therefore, what's the solution? It's very simple. Those who can produce, produce. Mr. Ward said the similar issues with supply, with supply were likely to occur time and time again without making the UK supply chain more resilient. So now the question is, what can I do to make the supply chain more resilient? Oh yes, the thing I said, brighten the corner where you are. I will encourage you, my brothers and sisters, if you can have a chance to have an allotment produced for yourself. But I was actually just saying something which had been said. Now I want you to listen to this Sky report. Take a look at what he says. The seeds are sown, but the UK's tomato harvest is yet to bear fruit. And it's likely to be a disappointing one this year. 
Rising heating and fertiliser costs are forcing growers to cut production at a time when imports are drying up because of poor weather. At Lee Valley, one of Britain's biggest fruit and veg nurseries, growers would usually have a crop of tomatoes ready by now, but they've had to delay the season by two months. Whether in Spain and in, um, in North Africa, there's food shortages, um, and that's only going to continue because we've delayed planting, so where we'd have British produce on our shelves now, cucumbers, peppers and tomatoes would have followed. Um, it's been delayed by another three, four weeks, so this is just the start of it. In the UK, we produce about half of the food we consume, but the balance is likely to tip away from UK growers as rising food, fuel and fertiliser costs force them to delay or stop production altogether. And if imports can't fill the gap, then empty supermarket shelves could become a common occurrence. Go back to having vegetables that are in season and, you know, not worry about it. Yeah. And grow in our own country. Uh, we find it, you know, it's gone short and the price has gone uh, so expensive. Morrisons and Asda have already started rationing some fresh produce, limiting purchases of tomatoes, cucumbers and lettuce to two or three per customer. But experts say consumers may have to put up with higher prices. Unfortunately, we have seen inflation in food prices. We're anticipating that will fall um, as we go through this year, but I think we're still seeing very unusually high prices in supermarkets at the moment. Food production in the UK is slumping as the country's reliance on imports increases. British growers say they want to help, but right now they can't afford to feed the nation. Gurpreet Nawan, Sky News. It is obvious, my brothers and sisters, that there is a problem in the United Kingdom. The United Kingdom has been so much depending upon the South, uh, the South Spain and also uh, Morocco, which is normal that, you know, these countries, they are benefit from, benefiting from exporting. But however, the solution, the real solution here is the country has to produce for itself and which they have got a capacity to do but the farmers decided not to because the prices are so high and i want to say to you my brothers and sisters is this not what it says in the spiritual prophets adventist one page 141 again and again the lord has instructed that our people are to take their families away from the cities into the country where they can raise their own provision for in the future the problem of buying and selling will be a very serious one this cannot be overemphasized my brothers and sisters the problem of buying and selling has started and don't even think this problem will get better in the cities. It will just get worse and worse. If God bless you, if God open the door for you, there is nothing as good as producing for yourself. And I want to say to you, my brothers and sisters, all those things, cucumbers you can produce, lettuce you can produce, broccoli you can produce, spinach you can produce, the fruits you can produce as much as you can. The choice is ours to take heed to the word of God. As for me, my brothers and sisters, I would rather produce my food with a much better taste as God leading. And remember, inspiration says wherever possible, Wherever possible, it is the duty of parents to make homes in the country for their children. Fathers and mothers who possess a piece of land, a comfortable home, are kings and queens. Why? Because they can produce their own food. They are not slaves of the system. And as we have seen before, as we have covered before, very soon many of us will become slaves of the system, will depend on the system, the system will monitor us, the system will do whatever they want. And remember, the beast will use the same system to implement the National Sunday Law. The inspiration is correct. Where possible, my brothers and sisters, blessed are we if we take, a, take heed to the word of God and produce our own food and move from crowded area and look at for areas where there are spaces where can we can produce our own food to ensure that we alleviate the problem of buying and selling especially in these last days and in the days following because this would just get worse thank you father for the time that you have given us 
As we see what is happening in the world, we pray for wisdom. Lord, help us in Jesus' name. Amen.